Okay guys, this is the last piece of the puzzle here. So, gotta get that going, but I want to show you, if you've ever worked with surface mount stuff, then you'll know you need this stuff. I think I already have tweezers already, but I just wanted like this, this looks pretty cool, it's like 10 bucks. Amazon, and uh, put a link where you can get it. So this is just a different big tweezer set here. So like fine, super fine tweezers, you know. So the theory behind this, or, or the logic behind it, let me grab a, a circuit board here. Grab a motherboard real quick. All right, guys. So I thought I'd give you a demonstration of uh, the soldering iron and the tweezers in one uh, shot there. So I have it at 480 degrees. Sorry, I've zoomed out. And I have a computer hard drive here, 10,000 RPM SCSI hard drive. Old style hard drive, so, I mean, SCSI, it's old, a 68 pin, so I'm not going to be using this anymore. I'm going to get rid of it. So I just figured I'd practice taking some components off here to see if it... Hopefully you can zoom in. It's, I already can see where I messed one up here. Let me take off maybe a... Yeah, the trick is not getting it so hot where it bursts the, the component. So I'm going to take off the capacitor there. Let's see here. Well, I can't tell if it's a resistor. I think it looks like a capacitor. It could be a resistor, but it doesn't say on the board. Usually it would say like C or R. Let's see here. I hope you can see that in the video. It's still not going. It won't budge. Seems to put out heat though, it's hotter than shit. Turn the fans right there. Well, maybe I let it heat up a little longer. See, you kind of pulled it off the board. There we go. I hope you guys saw that. Let me move this over again. So you can see me see it next to this. Look at my tweezers here. Okay, so let's try this again. All right, heat that up. Okay, I can see the solder melting. Cool. So that's actually why I wanted the tweezers. Let's see if I can get this off now. This thing burst before. This was my test, this, this transistor here. This one looks like stuck on there though. That one doesn't want to budge. I'll have to practice some more. Yeah, I don't have a lot of practice before I start messing with this, but let me uh, see if I can get this thing off right here. This Dale RF. Oh, came right off. Look at that. I don't know why this transistor is such a pain in the ass. Um, that was already off. Let me try that little IC right here off. That's stuck on there. Let's try. Look at that. Boom, right off. Why is this one on there? It's such a nightmare. Um, try this one. Okay, back to the back leads. There we go. Another one. Let's try that the other Dell I see off. Cool. Well, I kind of broke that. I pulled too hard. <laughs> I, I pulled before I should have. Uh, the hot, the solder wasn't heated up yet. So let's see if we can see that one right there. Okay, let's see. Boom. Yeah, it's got to make sure the solder is totally heated before you pull that component, or it can snap the connector, if you're going to reuse it at least. Alright, cool guys. Stoke, got some new tools. Let's zoom out here. So, that was the uh, the uh, little pick to, or the little uh, tweezer kit. Pretty cool. And, uh, so, awesome. 
I'm excited. All right, guys. All right.